and uh, we will try. We will try here. So we cannot take uh, Lady of the Reformed. We cannot take Shattered Shell. We cannot take Razor Sharp Edge. We cannot take Crushing Demise. We cannot take. What else are we? What else am I missing? We cannot take. Um, Unleash the Wildwood. We cannot take. What else did we have? We had gotten rid of most things by the end. There's at least one more though. The heal. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, focus growth. Okay, so we still have a lot left. This seems like our firelight build. I think it's hell packed. The plus five is not going to be huge. We have to take Firelight. So this is our Firelight build. You can't take Root Seeds. <laughs> Some are just a distraction. Let's take a Guild Marker. And Firelight's great into uh, Seraph the Patient because everything dies and it's fine. This would be a good Hallowed Halls build. This is when you want, yeah, this is when you really want Hallowed Halls. Um, draft is a bit scary. The biggest problem with Little Fade builds is Ring 1. Ring 1 is where things get challenging. And armor is especially tricky. So we're going to skip here, not take this. We don't want to die Ring 1. That would be an unfortunate way to end this run. Luckily, we do start with double units. And uh, we can get some damage out. Bring back Little Fade. Oh my gosh, this is like almost perfect. Like, that was great. The problem now is that how are we going to kill the one behind? This is a mystery that we will have to solve. Um, Little Fade needs to die. Do we have another reform? We do. If we put you behind 299, no, 29, you would also die. We really can't afford to do that. Let's give you extra damage and pray that we can beat the boss on ring one. Likelihood is, well, slim. Likelihood is slim, but we will try. The way this will work is we need to make sure that they are actually killing Little Fade. They are currently doing 11. We actually can't make that. We can't. We can't guarantee they're going to kill Little Fade. So, instead, ho oh, dog. Uh, we needed to put Little Fade in the back. Yeah, they're just going to clobber us. We're going to take 18, 23, 25 damage here, and we're going to buff the heck out of Little Fade, and hope for the best. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We can bring back two. Ideally, one is Little Fade. Okay, well, it is what it is. At least get some damage out. And I'm very nervous, but we do have... We have a Molded. We have two Moldeds in the deck. Okay, Little Fade? Nope. But, hold on, this guy alone might already be enough. It's close. Yeah, we're good. Scary times, guys. Scary times. I'm glad we didn't take the trial, but uh, it was not great. Hallow drippings is very important. Glimmer is also very good. Take a glimmer. These are both two very, very good spells. We want permafrost on one. We would like an a animus of will is the unit we want, or husk hermit would be the two units that we'd want. Since we can't take Shattered Shell, we will take a Husk Hermit. And we will start with that. We do not want Quick. We don't want Large Stone. And we will take this. Hell's Banners is great. 
They they did a good job. So now damage we can take because we have a Husk Hermit and the Husk Hermit's gonna go behind. So Husk Hermit thick. Kills everything. Good times will be had by all. Put a train steward in the back to kill off this jerk. Play you here for collective purposes. And sometimes Little Fade is going to, or sometimes Husk Hermit's gonna die. Like, it's the nature of our existence. Sometimes a Husk Hermit has to die. We're not getting the collector because reasons. We don't we don't worry about those reasons, but for reasons. Um we can bring back both. And we will play both up top. And I'm considering We could Fatal Melting, but then you don't die. Do this. Okay. It's fine. We can Glimmer. That's good for us. We can play a little Fade here. Buff up our Sweep unit. And that's it. I think the sweep unit by itself will be able to kill the boss. Let's targeted bring back Little Fade. And give you more damage. And I think we're just winning right now. Yeah, we are. But we can try to get Little Fade back just for funsies. Or just do something like that. We're good. Husk Kermit. Um, Wicklash, yes. And we skip. I don't think we need a second Glimmer. Animus Will. Those are two very strong units to have. Those are very two very strong units. Uh. I want the unit to merge. Do we have any heals? We have Glimmer. I, but the stats are good. The stats are good. We would just take extra capacity. Put this with the Animus of Will. Nah, I think we skip. We'll wait. Oh wait, you know what we can do? What we can do is put uh, Animus onto Husk Hermit. So now we have guaranteed multi-strike. And we don't care about the zero because Little Fate dies and immediately gives it extra stat. So I think that should be fine. It kind of seems scary to me. I think with Hell's Banners, like, we don't really need this. We just need something that we can put out to trigger Hell's Banners and then we're fine. Rage is, to be fair, Rage is scary. Rage is uh, not something to be trifled with. Okay, so we can put both of them out. Give you more stats. Glimmer is exact damage to kill. Fair enough. And now we can bring both back. We put Little Fate in the front. Husk Hermit in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Fade, Husk Hermit, Animus of Will. Start buffing you up. And now we're good. Dante would also have been very good. This is this is truth. Truth hath been spoken. And what's very important, as I mentioned a little bit, I mentioned it a little casually, but it's actually very, very important. Um, we... Uh, what was I trying... What was I going to say? I was going to say... We 
Uh, please kill Little Fate. I had I had a thought. The thought's gone. I'm sorry, guys. I. It's been a it's been a day. <laughs> Let's give you Hallow Drippings and just continue to grow. Oh, we don't want to put anything else in the reform pool. That's what I was gonna say. So we want to make sure that we. Oh, and we don't want quick. We don't want quick. We don't want anything in the reform pool. Those are the two things I wanted to say. So I'm just gonna say what I want to say. I'm gonna let the words fall out. Cause honestly, I want to win. All right, let's do it. I think we're there. I think we're already there. Like this is just too strong. Baron is very interesting for Animus of Will. Just add plus three, plus three. Alternatively, we just take Husk Hermit and put massive health onto it. I think it's Baron. Let me hold it for... Well, let's see. Let's see. We might get something better. Uh, let's go... Do we have Garbage Fell? We don't. We have Arcus. Let's go draw. Very important to hit our timings. What do you got for us? Lady of the House is fantastic. Just early stats and burnout. Love it. Oh... Wait a minute, Sinner Salve or Resin Block? Probably still just Resin Block. Non-boss enemy units restore all health. Sure, I like living on the edge. <laughs> Why not? Okay. I would like to do more damage. No dice, huh? I mean, they're not the scariest of, of uh, foes here. Play you. Play this. Damage is certainly a scary thing. This is the uh, this is the one caveat right now. We're gonna get one damage to our pyre. And we'll get one more garbage. That's not bad. This is all completely reasonable. get thick and then ideally here we get two reforms three reforms this would be great we get one reform I think you need to get out here play the train steward do this 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 and that might actually already kill the boss We take those. We cannot take the Crushing Demise. We do not need Votaberry. And we don't need another Fatal Melting. I also don't think we use healing here. Oh, we can't take it anyway. We could take Engraft, but to what end? I 
I guess. <laughs> if you squint really hard. By the way, we have both units have no upgrades. We're doing the sans upgrades. We did not get anything to put onto the Animus of Will. Oh yes, we did. We got the uh got the Lady of the House. Hmm. Lovely base stats. Look at the base stats on that. Mmm, yummy. The only thing we don't have now is something to trigger uh, Hell's Banners yet. Isn't Endless good? Then we just don't stress about it dying? Right? One last thing to worry about reforming. I, I guess then you wouldn't get the candle burning, but... The advantage here is that if it dies and then you put it on another floor later, it doesn't have burnout. You don't have to... I actually like that on the Husk Hermit. And then I think you just want more base stats without getting fat. And then Multi-Strike would be like the finisher, but... Fair enough. It doesn't scale that much worse, though. It scales worse literally by 5 and 5, but we already have Resin Block, so it's already going to get plus 10. And the scaling is going to come from Fade, not going to come from it dying and getting reformed. And then if it, the, the, the most important thing for me is that I can play it on a floor without Little Fade and it doesn't die immediately. It will, it will have no burnout when it dies. And this is very important. It's for insurance purposes. I mean, the rage goes away regardless. If it dies, it dies. Doesn't matter whether it had rage. Like, if it dies for any reason at all, it loses rage. So, and the rage is only just supplemental. It's nothing compared to what Little Fade is going to give them in terms of damage. Um, Umbra. And we're hoping for Trample. You love to see it. Trample sweep. The time is now. <laughs> Let's do it. Is there a minus two in here? There's not. There's something to be said about a plus ten in piercing on the fatal melting or the glimmer. I think for the glimmer it's pretty good. And we'll leave it like that for now. Quit reading my mind, Falter Fire. I said it first. <laughs> Just because you said it after doesn't mean you're gonna take credit. I said it, okay? Uh, multi strike should be fine. We have to eventually pivot into the top floor, but at the beginning, it's it's fine. We might use lose some units, but it's really not a big deal. No, no, stop it! <laughs> Alright, um, we're gonna pivot now. We're gonna pivot to the top floor. Where it's sunshine and rainbows. And the most important thing is we gotta get trample on you. And we have to try to not let you not die. This is gonna be one of the weird runs where actually I'm gonna not put Husk Hermit in front. Normally I would put Husk Hermit up front. But here I actually want the Animus of Will to tank because... Uh, it has trampled. We don't need to worry about things dying on the right floors and stuff, because we don't have any, uh... Stoof. There we go. Get wrecked. Little Fade getting thicker and thicker every day. She's a growing girl. Okay. Fatal Melting. Thank you. More stats. And we will play Little Fade lower to try to just remove some stealth. It's two hits of stealth, three hits of stealth. Give that to you. And I think we're in good shape because we only need two hits from the Husk Hermit to kill. 
We're already killing. But we can bring back Little Fade, and so we shall. And now both boys, or not boys, but both are, are living. We will take Infused Mallets. Memento Mori seems excessive. I think we're fine. Cycle... Cycle's kind of interesting, but I'd rather save it for uh, Icarus. And time to yeet more cards? I don't know. I guess we could go for some relics. There's some pretty good relics we could get. Or artifacts, I should say. Ooh, but Root. Root seems really good. It's gotta be Root. It's gotta be Root. It's such good insurance for Divinity. I think it's gotta be the Root. Root Split Mask is just so good against Divinity. It's really difficult not to take that. Uh, let's minus two on Fatal Melting and then give it Piercing as well. I think that's all the unit upgrades we, we get here. All right, Arcus, get prepared. We have, uh... okay, we have Days and we have Hellborn Harvest. That's pretty crap. Those are, I'd much rather have spells in this deck, but it's fine. We'll take what we can get. Philip Evans, thank you if you're watching on YouTube for the this is awkward. Um, thank you for the uh, YouTube subscription. Hope you're enjoying the stream if you're watching live. And otherwise, I don't know what you're doing with yourself. Um, play you out. I don't really want to play the Lady of the House Animus of Will here. We're going to play up top. And we're going to take our sweet time. We're not going to play Root or Trample here. We're going to wait. There is no rush. They may fill our deck with garbage. Um, I would like you to die, but I don't see it being feasible here. So we do instead is play you out and wait. That is certainly a lot of trash. You hate to see it. This is a problem. This is the problem. Okay, we have to bring back the Animus. And we're gonna go have these here just to prevent more trash. Yeah, that was pretty crap. All right, now we can bring back Little Fade finally. And give everybody extra Wax and Spike damage. And that. Now we should be good. Contrition is annoying, but it's fine. We can clear you, because you're a real jerk, and give you more damage, and more damage. Okay. So we took a lot of crap from these guys. I'm sick of all the crap these guys are putting out. Uh, Arcus is a bit scary. I think we kind of would like... Is there any possibility of sacking you? I don't think so. We can heal you back up though. I guess that's fine. Do we play you here? Um, we could make her thicker that way. Uh, 
It's a bit scary. We luckily have a really, really, really good Animus in the back. And now I feel like we can play Little Fade. And we're just fine. Okay, how are we doing? We should kill here, but... It's a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. It's now less scary. But still a little bit scary. Animus coming in clutch here. Oof. Well, welcome, Norm. I do, in fact, play this game. Enjoy your time. It's a fun game. Um, as someone who has played this game now for more than 1,800 hours, it's uh, mildly addicting. <laughs> Pretty good game. Yeah, I'm playing with some custom deck building restrictions. Uh, basically, I can't uh, repeat the same cards three runs in a row with the slain, same clan combination, and I have to change which champion upgrade path I take every time. Uh, that, that is a good way to describe me, Cudraziel. I am, in fact, a passable player. <laughs> um, what are we going to do here? Let's make Wicklash free. You know what? It took me a long time when I, I I started playing the game when it went into beta. It still took me a long time to get my first win, so don't feel bad. It takes a while. It's not. It is not a game for the faint of heart. I really like removing consume from this just to get extra damage. Um, this is probably a deck you have not unlocked yet. Is the Melting Remnant deck? Uh, it is. This is the single best champion in the game right now. And this is why I feel very relaxed. If I was playing another champion, you might see me a little bit less loosey-goosey. But here, everything's fine. <laughs> no, not a care in the world. It would be very interesting to go back. So this is, this is a fascinating question. On the one hand, we can add plus 10 HP. On the other hand, we can just add 25 HP. And I think we just pick the thickest Animus you've ever seen. Or Huskermit also having more health is not bad. Let's make a thicker Huskermit. That seems good. Yeah, Steelworker is great. Um, you get the advantage of having Steelworker when he's good. Before you started playing the game, Steelworker was really bad and was uh, borderline unplayable. And then they completely changed his passive, or his, not his passive, his uh, resolve trigger, and now he's amazing. Yeah, I could be playing a much worse champion, like every other champion. Yeah, he used to provide it only for himself, and there was no such thing as essences, so you couldn't merge it. It was just really bad. I think he even had worse stats, too. Didn't they buff his stats as well? Like... He was just in a really bad spot. Hellhorned across the board got a unit rework, and they're way better. Hellhorned won because of other reasons, but now Hellhorned wins because its units are so strong. Imps are so strong, and even the demons are really good now. This seems fine. We don't care about Spell Shield. I think we're already at like a good spot here with damage. what I love to see. I should be putting all of the... Thank you. I should be putting all of the damage onto the Husk Hermit. That's objectively better. You are now dying. Well, guess what, my friend? You are endless. Um, okay, so what we got to do now is start buffing you up in preparation for you to go to the next floor. All right, so we're going to pivot now to top floor. We're going to Fatal Melting because this guy is a real jerk into Glimmer. And then we Wax and... S uh, yeah, Wax and Spike. She dies, we bring her back. Now 
Norm, thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the rest of the stream and you don't come away feeling disappointed. Also, if you're having trouble, there is a certain streamer who on YouTube may have the most viewed guides on Monster Train. Somebody in chat might be able to tell you who that is. <laughs> oh, Conrazy will beat me to the punch. <laughs> As I'm self-advertising. It is Zizivification. This is correct. <laughs> uh, some of my guides are outdated because uh, they are pre-DLC and pre some changes, but in general they are still relevant for a lot of the game. Um, the other note to, to make about my guides, if you would check them out, is that... Uh, do I have any other notes? I thought I had a note. I had a note in my head about the guides. Oh, I have some stuff about the newer things. There is a, uh, there is a guide I was doing but then uh, I, I'm not. I mean, I'm going to do it eventually, probably. Anyway, I have, I have kind of an update for people in a minute. But uh, thank you, Fatal Melting, for uh, ensuring me this win. Yeah, Griftlands I have not played yet. I've heard it's really good. It's been on my list. The one I've been doing now is uh, Tainted Grail. I also started playing, which I quite like a lot. Um, Wicked Blaze seems okay. Resident Removal seems okay. Uh, Resident Removal for Divinity is like really, really big. Adapt the Mutation we 100% cannot take because we need it for uh, specifically the Little Icarus run. This is a very relevant question. What do we dupe? Yeah, I've seen so I've seen a little bit of Grifflands, and it seems very good. Like it seems just like a solid game. Um, it was what I was debating. So it was Grifflands, it was Tainted Grail, and then Rogue Book were the three I was considering playing in parallel to Monster Train, and I settled on Tainted Grail. And for now, I'm happy with that. I think it's quite good. What do you do, Pierre? What do you do, Pierre? Do you do resin removal? Wicklash, Wax and Spike, <laughs> Dead Weight, <laughs> A Fatal Melting for points. Fatal Melting is good. Oh, if you mean for uh, shards, uh, I kind of think it's resin removal. Resin removal is so good against Divinity. Cursed Vines will take. Um, I don't care about Temper Talisman. Mold Braces is good. And then let's remove. Given that we have a Permafrosted Molded, I'm kind of inclined to remove. Is it Steel Enhancers? Are Steel Enhancers valuable at all in this build? I don't think so. But root seeds are also not amazing here. The primitive molds, ah, man. I think it's two root seeds, or maybe even three. I just don't see them being very valuable. They do cycle the deck. I'm gonna get rid of one steel enhancer as well. Well, thanks for joining. And uh, yeah, I'm always streaming most of the time at this time. 
And you can also, I mean, all my streams end up some form on YouTube. Sometimes it's weeks later, but most of the time my YouTube's pretty rel pretty uh, up to date compared to the stream. And I think we're just gonna go all in to start on the top floor. Normally you don't, but uh, here it makes a lot of sense. And yeah, so we play you. Little, little bit nervous to like already kind of grow like this, but I think this is fine. We're gonna do this. That seems good. Okay. And then we play you. Into you. Resin removal. We'll give you trample. Root. And start whacking this guy. Okay. Our man is coming back. And we are at low enough shards that Seraph is not trampling, which is really good. Uh, just a glimmer into more stats seems good. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Why is Trample good? I thought you were saying no. Trample is great, and I th and I was thinking no. You're smoking crack. Um, we're just gonna play this and be done with it. And this too. That's why I'm really glad that this the husk hermit is uh, endless. We're getting a lot of value out of that. Uh, play you. And they get thicker and thicker every day. Die! Curse you! <laughs> Smoking fools. <laughs> uh... Alright. We kind of want you to die. We can do this. This is the last one. Let's play this. Excellent. And I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We have a pretty decent amount of damage. We can resin removal again. A pretty decent amount of damage on these guys. Fatal melting. Would like Little Fade to die one more time, I think. It's hard though. It's hard. Little Fade just is not dying. No matter what I do. How are we doing? We're doing 1200 damage per turn? Yeah, we're good. Oh, wait a minute. I think Steel Enhancer wins it for us. That was huge. The Steel Enhancer play for the win. <laughs> you love to see it. Alright, this is where things get scary. This is where things get scary. The advantage here is that Little Fade will die consistently on the top floor, so that's that's the nice thing. The bad thing is we need to scale damage incredibly quickly. But we're gonna do our best. No mercy. Give you damage. Um, Glimmer. Ok, 
could immediately fatal melting, but I think we just play this. Resin removal. Oh, bring her back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's way better. I'm glad I did that. Double the stats, double the fun. Then we can put you in second, last position. Should have maybe considered not getting Ember Drained, but that seems like a lot of work. So we're just going to do this. All right, we already scaled pretty well. We can get... Oh, we can't get Trample. All right, we're good. Oh, I needed to play the... Uh, you play the Vine Grasp to get crap units in the right spot. Okay, this is pretty good. We can Resin Remove. Play that. Bring back Little Fade. Give you more damage. Vine Grasp you. Resin Removal. And I think we're going to have enough damage to kill the boss. The first mini boss. All right, so we play this. Still no, uh, still no money. Give you tramp. It's getting dangerous every time. It's getting very dangerous. Yeah, yeah flying kill will come as long as the uh, sweeper doesn't die. We're already killing the boss. Little Fade might actually be able to absorb all the hits here. We can't get her down low enough. Next floor is scary. Next floor is very scary. Now less scary. Okay, so we can fatal melting this floor. I'm gonna just accept. I need to get trample out. This is very important. Oh, watch this. Perfect. Love to see it. Two for two! Two for two. So, um, that's going to be it for me today. I know it's only been a 90 minute stream, but uh, I have to sleep because tomorrow is busy. 